the only online aspect is like um, online leaderboards. Yeah, they are all built in the game. We're gonna see uh, leaderboards at the end of each stage, and we've got uh, over ten of them, I guess. Yeah. And yeah, we've got a few countries to go through. It should be fine, right? Racing games are fun. I love racing games and cars. Do you? I think so, you're watching this. I think we all do. Just a quick mention, by the way. Uh, yeah. So the sound wasn't working for like the first part of the run, so I do apologize. Oh. I think we were both muted, but yeah, I don't know if you want to just quickly introduce yourself again whilst you're doing the run, if you want to. All right, just, yeah. Just people, that's okay, sorry. We're gonna <laughs> speed on the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, what was I talking about? Ah, right. Uh, first of all, thanks for letting me showcase this run. <laughs> uh, we washed the car because it was dirty. And yeah, I pretty much only introduced the game. I said that uh, it's a top down slash isometric view racing game. <laughs> and yeah, uh, it's a really fun game. The majority of the game happens on Tarmac with uh, AI. But in this mode, Rally, we've got pretty much time attack. And we've got uh, a bit over 10 stages, a few countries, and uh, online leaderboards. There is no online online. Best we can do is split screen and uh, compare our times with friends. It's it's pretty cool, still, because um, the game's made by one person, and when you think that Okay, yeah, that must be expensive to host your own servers. It make, makes sense. And also the developer, uh, Vijuda or Vihuda, I am not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, he made the soundtrack all by his own. And yeah, that is quite impressive to be honest. Now we are off to South Africa S3. And this track was in the demo. Uh, when game... Okay, it was not released yet. Uh, there was a demo on Steam, and there was a competition with only this track, and the fastest person would get a free copy of the game. It's pretty cool. I, I think I remember getting in like top nine at some point, <laughs> or top six. I don't remember. It was some time ago. The game is from 2021, by the way. And yeah. I've been playing since, to be honest. I am loving this game. I'm not gonna lie, when uh, when the uh, the submission came through for this, I was like, right, because obviously we have to we, we watch all the runs just to make sure to see what they're like and everything. And uh, we saw, I saw this one. Me and Joe both said to each other, was like. Not gonna lie, this is like Art of Rally before Art of Rally. Did this come out before that game or after? Uh, I don't remember what year Art of Rally came out. I think it was first though. Lots of people compare those two games. I mean, it does remind me of... Um, uh, what's it called? There was like, I think there was like Rally Championship or something. It was an arcade cabinet. It yeah, was before yeah. Sega Rally was a thing, and um, that had a top-down view like this. And I always thought, God, wouldn't it be cool if someone ran something like this? And this is as, this is literally as close as we're getting to it. Because I think unless someone submits it itself, yeah. it's quite a nice, um, nice modern game as well. I mean, did this game come out like last year or the year before or something? Or is it quite a bit old now? Mm -hmm. I presume it's a couple of years old, right? Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good though. I quite like the look of it. Might give this a run myself personally. <laughs> Go for it. Do it. <laughs> I mean, it generally does look quite fun. Like fairly straightforward and fairly fun. Um, just to ask as well. So the I know it's in the top left corner. You've got the gold, the silver, and the bronze cup. Yeah. So 
What's the idea behind that? Is it are they like? Um... That's for a uh, game's progression system. It's pretty much like Gran Turismo. <laughs> so these uh, are like license tests, but as a as yeah, kind of. Have to beat the time. Uh, the main thing is uh, doing events and collecting stars, and with stars oh. you unlock new events. In rally mode you get those uh, golden caps, and yeah, you only can move up, move on with the thing when you get gold, I think. And also now, um, Sweden S2, this track, or stage, uh, features a shortcut. It saves about 5, maybe 7 seconds. It's at the end of the stage, so we get some time till we can see that. Also, yesterday, no, not yesterday, two days ago, <laughs> I got a new PB uh, that failed that funny skip, and I still PB'd <laughs> by two seconds. I lost about six by failing that. So yeah, uh, the world record is free. <laughs> Go on, give it a try. And also, uh, we switched cars from our totally not Ford RS 1600 to our totally not MG Metro 6R4. <laughs> We're gonna switch car one more time in the run. And yeah, uh, the shortcut is coming up very shortly, right after this straight line. So yeah, uh, let's see if we can get it. Um, kind of? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it should save some time. We basically only skip that one chicane. All right. Actually, um, worth noting as well, just just as a like, a quick heads up to everyone here, um, is that we do have, um, funnily enough, because I, I mean, speaking of Art of Rally, uh, we do actually have an Art of Rally coming up in a couple of hours. So we do. if you like this, then Art of Rally is coming up in I think it's about four hours time, uh, there or thereabouts, about quite well, say four hours. So yeah, about four hours actually, not far off. Um, yeah, so it's. Uh, a, Erdies, I think it is, that's uh, running the game. Uh, so, yeah, if you like this, then uh, sure, keep an eye out for that. Um, ah, of course, yes. Uh, just want to quickly say as well, if, if it's okay to, to kind of plug this Jotu, if that's yeah. okay with you. Go for it. Um, that we just want to quickly say straight away, um, I know we've only just started, but thank you to all those that are currently watching McCrayathon. Uh, for those that don't know, we're a two-day speedrunning marathon held annually here on the McCrayathon and the BSG channels. Uh, through the power of the internet, we're bringing you two full days of racing goodness from the comfort of our own homes to yours. Uh, we'd like to thank BSG for supporting this marathon. Besides providing us with their channel for streaming, they are sharing technical assistance and their donation service uh, with us, which helps with a much smoother running uh, of our events. Uh, be sure to check out BSG's next event, uh, next big event, should I say, uh, which is BSG Annual 2022, uh, which is running from the 14th to the 20th of August this year. Uh, well, with that being said, I'll pass it back to Chot. Thank you. Uh, if this game reminds you of those old arcade racing games, then you are absolutely correct. It even has a built-in uh, arcade image mode, it looks like that. <laughs> and yeah, it's got like, what, five image modes in-game? They all look um, alright. <laughs> I prefer the clean one that I was using a minute ago. Alright, uh, we got rain, which is not ideal, but we're gonna do fine. Also, let me switch back to that off mode. <laughs> I think that that's gonna look better for the stream, but yeah, I just wanted to say that fun fact about image modes. You can play around with them, like turn off post-processing, it's gonna make them look differently. 
And yeah, uh, last trade here. Good, Spain is done. Now we're gonna move to Japan. And later to Finland. But before Finland, we're gonna switch car to a uh, total unit Peugeot 205. Okay, Japan is in here on the second second um, page. Ah, also I should probably um, explain what is this category. This is well rally mode. Uh, pre rally, what pre CV slash Argentina? That is uh, pretty much. The rally mode before the first uh, content update. That update added a new car, a Raven CV that is totally not a Civic, <laughs> and uh, Argentina rally. That adds like four or f nah, a bit more than four minutes to the run. That's why we uh, well made a new category for that. <laughs> it's called current patch. Ah, right, I mentioned uh, earlier about competitions, the one about the demo, you remember, right? Yeah, uh, so there was also a competition for uh, paint for the car, it was for uh, for that CV car. Um, people could send the developer their um, liveries for the new car, and best five, I think those five, uh, got in the game, which is pretty cool, and I myself got a paint um, in the game, that's really cool. And yeah, now, epic menuing, 48, we need that car. And now we can go to Finland, S1. I really don't like those stages, they are pretty tough and long. Rain! Awesome. <laughs> we don't have to worry about damage of the car too much in this mode. You can see the health bar <laughs> at the uh, right bottom corner. It it plays a bigger role in, um, in races with AI because they like to block you and push you and stuff like that, put you in a wall. Ah, in last update, I believe, they added a hard mode, which makes uh, your damage go down a lot faster, and also AI is better. There's a, there's a Steam achievement for beating that mode. Also, the game features like uh, seasonal events that update every two weeks? Question <laughs> mark. It's pretty much random track, random um, car, and a separate lead uh, leaderboard. Oops, that do be a wall. Also, uh, the name of the game, Super Warden GP. What is that? Uh, I think in some tweet the developer said uh, that Woden was their group's name. Yeah, something like that. It had to do something with uh, with their friends. <laughs> and well, the guy just decided to use that as the game name. Kind of cute. Also, there's Super Warden on Steam, which is pretty much a prequel to this game. <laughs> I have not played it, so I'm not gonna say much about it. This is the last track, by the way. We made not many mistakes. That's probably gonna be a decent time. Resume time is coming up then at the end, as soon as the stage is finished. Yeah, on the uh, finish line. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. It is uh, interesting though, like the variety of tracks, I mean for something that, you said it was made by one guy, right? Yeah. 
for a game that was made by one person, that's pretty impressive. And that's saying something considering we have games like Dangerous Driving. Please don't kill me for anyone that thinks I'm trying to make a point here. But if you can make that, in one, like, if one person can make that, imagine what they can make with a group of people that actually knows what they're doing. You know, no offence to the guys that, that don't, because there's a lot of game companies out there that do, but honestly, I'm quite impressed. I mean, like I said, if it was dangerous driving developers, I think this game would have been way worse, but anyway. <laughs> and time is now. Let's go. On my timer, it was 16.09, which is pretty good. Only half a minute behind world record, I think. Yeah, that's what we got, 16.09. GG's. Uh, do we have one more minute? Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. All right. So I want to show you a Easter egg. We need to go to free race, and I'll also show you um, show you AI. Um, ah, circuit, there it is. We need to go here to Greenlands. Any car, doesn't matter. And well, there's an Easter egg. It was also added in last update, I think. <laughs> ah, right. Important part. You can do that. <laughs> you can flash lights. I don't know why it doesn't work on controller. I guess it doesn't have enough buttons or something. Alright, so the Easter egg is right about here. You can see the Loch Ness monster. Very cool. <laughs> That's kind of cute. And yeah, I think that's that's it from me. I hope you did enjoy that. I did. I really like the game. And yeah, I was uh, gonna say the Loch Ness monster is an Easter egg. Card. Was that, I mean, was, there was I think there was one in Gran Turismo Four onwards or something. At um, oh, what was the track? I think it was Trial Mountain or something. It was like a Loch Ness monster in one of, in like the background. So, but that's still pretty <laughs> cool. I like that. Full that is cool. Egg. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for having me, and uh, we'll see you on next run, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to quickly say, yeah, just to wrap things up, thank you, Chatu, for that great run. It was really nice to see it, and I, again, I might give this game a run myself sometime. Let's go. Um, Can't wait. Which I know you're like, yes, please, please do. Um, so yeah, we're going to get set up for our next run, which is Off-Road Thunder by Linker. Uh, so we'll go to a quick intermission, and when we come back, like I said, we'll be with Off-Road Thunder. So stick around, and uh, yeah, we will see you very shortly. See ya.